old Alabama gardener, and we're talking about growing strawberries in a rain gutter planter. Yesterday I uh, did a class at a feed and seed store in town, and during that class I showed the uh, folks who came to the class a rain gutter planter, but as you see in the following picture that it was only planted half full or halfway. So I told them that uh, I would finish planting that uh, rain gutter planter full of strawberry plants today. So I have done that. And so this video then is going to be the first video in a series of videos about this experiment to see how well I can grow strawberries in rain gutter planters. So obviously this is going to be go on during the growing season. <clears throat> so I invite you to follow along and I will periodically upload a video on uh, the progress of this experiment uh, as we go through the growing season. And then of course when the strawberries are ripe and we get ready to start picking strawberries then we'll be able to see what the results of this experiment uh, actually were. Now, as I said, we're going to do three rain gutters and everything will be the same except for the fertilizer that I'm going to use. Last autumn, I put one strawberry plant in that big pot kind of in the middle. And as it made runners, I put them in the one gallon pots surrounding all around. Then each runner would make runners and I would put them in a gallon pot and continue to root them. Okay, I'm going to start with one rain gutter planter and uh, we will apply only triple uh, 13 commercial fertilizer to the strawberry plants in this planter. Now here you see me sprinkling triple 13 commercial fertilizer along the edge of the uh, planter tray and then I'll cover it over a little bit and then later of course we're going to water it in. Now you know I always say, no matter whether you plant these seeds or plants, once you get them in, water them well and watch it grow. Okay, so this next tray of strawberry plants is going to be fertilized only with rabbit manure. So here's some rabbit manure that I've collected from the rabbit cage. Sprinkle it in. You can see all the little pellets in there. Add in some water, and then I'm going to use a piece of wood, and I'm actually going to crush it all <clears throat> and turn it into a mush. Now I'm going to dump the uh, water rabbit manure mush into the tray and I want to kind of equally spread it out down through the tray itself. Now let's get the strawberry plants in there. Now later, and during the growing portion of this, I will be making rabbit manure tea and applying it to these strawberries. And yes, just plain water. Be sure you water it well. And of course, we're going to have to keep it watered during the growing. And now for the third and last tray, we're going to use both triple 13 commercial fertilizer and regular rabbit manure. Now you see I'm not crushing this rabbit manure nor am I mixing it with water. I am just spreading it in the bottom of the planting tray and we'll let it decompose uh, naturally. Now I said we're going to use both fertilizers on there so now let's add some triple 13. Now I'm going to add some potting soil, but not fill the tray completely up. We'll do that as we set each individual strawberry plant in. All right, let's put the strawberry plants in. Now you may notice that I'm going to plant these kind of close together, as I did in the other two trays.
And of course, got to water it in. Water it well and watch it grow.